Okay, so we're moving on to unit 11, and 11, one is summarizing bivariate data. So bivariate data is going to be the focus of all of unit 11. We're going to talk about how to organize bivariate data um, throughout unit 11. We'll define bivariate data. Actually, we'll go to talk about it now since it's in the title. So bivariate data, which is down here, means it has two variables. So we're looking at two sets of data, okay? so or sets of data that are paired together. So there's a relationship between them. So let's say I was trying to analyze how height affected a person's shoe size. That would be bivariate data. That is the height of the person and the shoe size. We'd pair one person would be a pair. Their height and their shoe size would make the pair. So that's what bivariate data is. Okay? And since we're talking about bivariate data, I guess we'll finish summarizing and answering the rest of these types of data before we go then to doing the first problem. So categorical data is data collected by category. Okay. And so in the category or groups, if you want to think of it that way as well, and some examples would be if you collected the um, gender of a person or you hear often like what's your race or ethnic ethnicity or if you ask someone their favorite subject in school or their favorite color. These are all things that would be categories. So they would give you a value. And not, they wouldn't give you a number. They'd give you the category. So are you, um, is your favorite color red, green, or blue? That would be the category you're talking about. Numerical data is therefore data that's based on a number. Okay, so numerical data is data that is, data is measurable. And examples of this would be the time, your height, your weight. So anything that you'd give is a number. So the answer would be a number. And then a two-way frequency table is a way to organize bivariate data. Okay, it's just one way, but this is the way we're going to be working it. And it, it makes a table. So let's look at the situation above and talk about this, this problem. And then we're going to actually talk about how to make a two-way frequency table after we talk about this. So... High school students in the United States were invited to compete in an online, complete an online survey back in 2010. Part of the survey included questions about superhero powers. More than 1,000 students responded to the survey that included a question about a favorite superhero power. Researchers randomly selected 450 of the 1,000 people that completed the survey. A rather confusing breakdown of data by gender was compiled from the surveys. 100 students indicated their favorite power was to fly. 49 were females. 131 students selected the power to freeze time as their favorite power. 71 of those students were males. 75 students selected invisibility as their favorite power. 48 were females. 206 students indicated super strength as their favorite superpower. 25 of those were male. And finally, 118 students included indicated telepathy as their favorite power. 70 of those were female. And you look at this data and you're like, well, what does that mean? You can't really compare males and females because only giving you some of that data. It's very disorganized. Okay, so we're going to talk about how to organize this data so it'll be easier to compare. So the first question is, they use the survey information to answer the following questions. So what is the most popular superpower? So we can go up here and we can look through and we're looking at the totals. There's 100 here, 131 here, 75, 26, and 118. So 131 would be the highest. So let's freeze time. Again, it takes a little bit to figure out the value. What is the least popular? So let's find the lowest number, 26, which is super strength. And this is how many more females than males indicate their favorite power is telepathy. So there's 118 students total. 70 of those were females. So if we subtract that, 48 males. Or so how many more females than males? So there's 70 female. And 48 male, so that means there's 38 more females than males. 
And then I said, how many more males than females say it was to fly? So flying, um, if we look up here, was 100 students total. Okay, 49 were female. That means 51 were male. So how many more males than female? There would be two more. Okay, so when this data is organized just as lists like this, sometimes it's harder to understand the data. So what we're going to do is look at how can we organize this data differently so that it's much easier to read. And so a two-way frequency table that can be used to organize the categorical data is shown below. The letters below represent the frequency counts of the cells of the table. So to fly, to freeze time, invisibility, super strength, telepathy, and we have females and males, and we have the totals. The shaded cells are called marginal frequencies. They are located around the margins of the table, and they represent the total for the rows or columns. So this would be the total to fly, total to freeze time, or across the total female and the total male. The non-shaded are called the joint frequencies. Each joint cell represents the two categories. So for instance, this cell represents females that chose to fly. So there's two categories, the gender and the superpower, and the cell represents the combination of the both. So it says in number five, describe the data that would be counted in cell A. So we just said that would be the females that chose to fly as their favorite superpower. Okay. Number six says J. So we go to J's here. So now we're looking at males that chose super strength. And then it says what would be an L. So L is right here. And if you look at that one, that is a total. So it's males and it's a total. So it's a total males. And then describe the data would be in cell N. So N is also in the total. It's a marginal frequency, and it's the total for freeze time. So the total number that chose freeze time. And it says what would be in cell R. R is over here. So R is the total in the total. So it is a total number surveyed. Or actually, in this case, it's a total number that they used for the survey. Okay, so then it says cell I is the number of male students who selected invisibility, right? So male students who selected invisibility. Based on the information in example one, what is the value of this number? So if we go back, males that chose invisibility, if we go back to our paper, males that chose invisibility, we have 75 students, 48 were females that chose it, so we have to do 75 minus 48 which is 27. And then cell, cell D is the number of females who chose superpower. So C, D, and then we have 25 people chose superpower. It's actually 26, and 25 of them were male. That means one is a female. So using this information, what is the value? One. So now it says complete the table to determine the frequency count of each cell. So let's start with the ones we just figured out. So cell I, actually maybe this will make it confusing. Let's just go to the beginning. So let's look at each of these statements. The first statement says 100 students said favorite power was to fly. So let's go to fly and put 100 total students. And then it says 49 were female. So we put 49 there. And if we do the difference, 51 here would have to be male in order to add to 100. The 131 students picked to freeze time and 71 were male, so to add to 130, we need 60. And then it says 75 chose invisibility, and it says 48 were female. If we do the difference there, that's the one we calculate here is 27. And then 26 total did super strength, 25 were male, so one is female. And then for telepathy is 118, and the 70 were female, so that makes 48 here. So now we filled out the table, and now we need a total. So we know there's a 450 people total. If we add up our females, it comes out to 228, and our males is 222. And you should always check your numbers. These two numbers should add to 450, and all five of these should add to 450, and then you know you're good. 
Okay, so that's how you fill your uh, two-way frequency table. You take the data and you find the combination of both sets and put it there. And then the totals go on the outside. Those are called the marginal frequencies.